第一次有外国人来打球？哎，这是第一次，第一次，相当影响力大。你看现场的观众，影响力相当大。来来来来来，来来来Basketball's like any other job. You have people at the top who do all the praise. You have people at the bottom who do nose praise. You have people in between who do the dirty work and work hard every day. I feel like I'm no different. What you want to do with me? I beat your fucking head in. Tell me what I said. You're not a fucking man. Tell him sign the paper. Sign the paper, man. I want the paper signed. Yes, of course. Gave the money. We got the room service. No, no, I need the paper now. Before I walk out this door. Paper from room service. We yeah. don't have paper here. Motherfuckers is not men. What, you got a problem with me? Go get all your buddies. And we have a riot in this motherfucker. You think we, you think we by ourselves? Y'all think we by ourselves? Y'all think we don't know nobody in China? You think I'm here doing business for 13 years and I don't know people in China? Stupid motherfuckers, man. <laughs> That's right. Okay. <coughs> hey, tell him I'm gonna have, tell him uh, we gotta have boss pants and him a gift. All right. How are you feeling now, B? 
Nah, that's how you do business, man. You gotta be aggressive with these motherfuckers because they own some stupid shit. If you're an aggressive with them, and then they gonna play you like you're stupid, you know what I'm saying? How you gonna have my boys come way up in the mountain in a foreign country in China and leave them stranded? You can't do shit like that. That ain't how you do business. If you want to cut the contract, when, when people still, when you go overseas and you do deals with people and they cut the contract, when they when, when they cut the contract, man, you still get your ticket home. Where do you think you stand to the, I mean, the general public as you as the best? Player for these kind of tournaments. Personally, I don't really pay attention to it. Like I just go out there and try to play hard. You know, I kind of I'm trying to push myself more than anything. So it's more about every day I go out there. I try to compete with myself, make sure I don't get injured, and make sure I play to my ability. If I play bad, you know, I'm disappointed in myself, and I really disappoint in other people. Okay. 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 Just to provide, provide for my family. Um, make sure I play at a high level. If I get noticed, I get noticed. If I don't, I mean, just play knowing that I did my best and I played to the best of my ability. I just like playing tournaments in China. Um, I, mean, I feel like uh, I have a high, I'm a high uh, talented guy, highly talented guy, and I should be playing somewhere else, especially. I've been in China five years, three and a half years with Beijing also. Um, seeing my teammates go to um, the Ducks and actually win a championship the first year out, it's like, man, that could have been me, that could have been us. You know, all we needed was an opportunity to, for our team to play in the CBA. And that pretty much I feel like we could have been
So I'm thinking we about to go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? I came out with, <laughs> with my motherfucking, uh, my, my flip flops on and everything like shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, we went to a motherfucking outside car. I'm like, man, y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> I sat in that motherfucking car, bro. They up the bread. I got out the car. You hear me? <laughs> Hell nah. <laughs> Nigga, I sat in that motherfucking car. I don't play outdoors, bro. Everybody in China know if you ask me to play outdoors, bro, I'm charging you 10 bands a game. 10,000 RB a game. And I get it. I've been getting it, and I'm going to continue to get it. <laughs> you got to pay for that. You, pay, you got to pay for the, the name. You know what I'm saying? I was voted one of the most excited players ever played in China and fifth on, 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 on the best player list. I'm on fourth on the best ever player list in China, bro. Out of all the imports. And I'm, on, and, I, and I'm fourth out of the top five. You gotta pay for that. Ah. <laughs> Nigga, that what made me so mad. One time I was on the team. Step out Marbury was the lowest paid one time on our team, but the nigga Maurice Taylor was making um he was making 150 a month with Peak to have this uh a, a, a deal with the Peak clothing line and the nigga was making eight hundred thousand for uh two and a half months, bruh. So I'm like, God, and this nigga only averaging eight points, eight rebounds. You know? And I'm averaging 30 and motherfucking uh, 17. I'm like, y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got to break some more. Then they start bringing more and more league niggas out here, bro. Now, now it's, it's full of league niggas. That's all you see. It's full of league niggas. I wouldn't call it a league. If you do call it a league, you call it the trash can league. It's just like a pickup game, basically. Or a tournament. I know the guys in the States won't pay you the money they pay you in China to play in the tournament. There's no way. Of the level of the game. It's, it's a piece of shit. <coughs> That's the level of the game. <laughs> Excuse my language, America and China, but it is a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what would you tell guys in the States, like young players that are, that are struggling to make money and trying to pay a pro? Like, I wouldn't. I'll tell the young guys who are struggling. Get in the gym. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't tell them to come here and play these, these garbage tournaments because they can't get their name known nowhere. So get in the gym and work on what they saying you need to work on. For you can get you a contract in Spain or somewhere, and maybe get a chance to go to the uh, to the league. But I wouldn't recommend nobody just to come here unless you got a chance to play in the NBA or the CBA. Well, then you can come on over here and get you a couple of dollars, get you a nice place to stay and relax. And you don't send money home to take care of your family like that. But if you are on that level, I wouldn't recommend nobody, no young young guy to come over here and do this. It's a grind. It's not it's not easy money. Because like I say, you gotta deal with the mountains, bad drivers, cigarette smoking, bad food, bad hotels, itchy water. You got to deal with a lot of stuff, so, and a lot of people can't adjust to that. It's hard leaving Houston, coming here, and it's a different life.
Show it to me, show it to me. Show it to me.你好，你好，呃，周一，周二，这个嘛，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这